Hey, what's up, you amazing hackers? Let's continue with 30.php, shall we? So for this one, we are in another context again. We are in the HTML tag attribute context, and this is often displayed with the value for an input. Now, what do I mean by that? If I go and inspect this source code right here, and of course, this time I cannot forget to enlarge it a little bit. We can see that we have an input tag with a value for John. So perfect. Now, how do we get out of this? You might be thinking, I see a double quote here and a greater than sign. So I'm going to try exactly the same. I'm going to try and escape this way. But you can see that your attempts fail, at least in this case. Now, that is a tricky one, of course, because in this case, we can see that since this is, it seems everything should fit here. But what we don't know is that in the back end, we are not using the double quote as we see right here, but we are using a single quote. So if we enter that single quote, we can see that we can break out of it. And we can try that again, single quote greater than sign. But instead, this time we can insert our own script like we are used to and we can pop an alert slash script and there we go we have our cross-site scripting in the html tag attribute context now you might recognize 31.php from previous attempts because if we look at this carefully we will notice that our attack vector of our script alert slash script will not work anymore that is of course because in the previous attempts we've blocked alert and script out of there completely so what can we do? We can send an image with a source that is broken and then say when an error occurs, pop an alert. Only thing is we can't pop an alert, of course. We have to say something like confirm, which will then work in this case. And that's 31.php. So just in case you missed that because it was a little bit fast, single quote, greater than sign. Then you insert your broken image and you can pop a confirm, not an alert. Thank you very much. On to the next one. Here we have a very similar one as 31.php. 32.php is going to block a number of things such as the script, the alert, and in this case also the confirm. So if we enter this attack vector, we see that we don't get a pop-up. Now, if we do replace this confirm by a prompt, however, we will get a prompt pop-up. That's because, of course, I want you guys to stop using uh, confirm alert. I want you to uh, stop using script. All of these basic f words that will be filtered out very, very easily. And in 33, we have the same as in previous series. We used to have so that the uh, uppercase characters got filtered out, but or, or I mean that the uppercase characters didn't get filtered out. But in this case, our uppercase very characters do get filtered out. So it's a little bit the same as previous ones. This one will work with previous attack factors, but it's only because uppercase attack factors no longer work here. And in 34.php, we have largely the same thing. We will see that if we enter a greater than sign in this case, and some of you might have already seen it, that my greater than sign gets completely filtered out. Now I can still get by this by using HTML entities like you guys might have already seen. The ampersand greater than ampersand GT is basically one of those characters. Now previous filters still apply. So you have to use a prompt here. You cannot use alert. You cannot use confirm. It will not work. You have to use your prompt here. As we see, we get our prompt pop-up in the HTML tag attribute with some filters applied on the greater than sign as well. Now, if we test on 35.php, it seems that no matter what we try, our previous attempts are not working anymore. Now, this is because I've been a little bit of a sneaky rat and I've replaced the single quote with a double quote in this case. Yes, yes, a little bit of a sneaky rat. There we go. When we try that, we can exit our HTML tag attribute. Now, in the previous ones, in the back end, I used a single quote. This shows the importance of always using single and double quotes when you're testing for these types of vulnerabilities. Throw a back tick in there while you're at it. 
Now, when we do this, we can insert our broken image again on in here and we can say on error equals prompt, like we said in the previous exercises. And as you can see, we get our prompt to pop up. And in this last lab, at least for now, there might be more in the future, of course, we have replaced the greater than sign like we did before. But as you can see, I will paste my attack vector in here like we did before. This will not work because we have also replaced another sign. If we enter some few greater than and less than signs, we can see that they all get replaced. So what does that mean? Yes, you are correct that I need to replace my less than sign with HTML entities as well. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.